Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Anna. Today I'm going to be planning in my mini on the go planner for the week of October 26th through November 1st. And, excuse me, I decided that today I'm going to do a continuation of what I did in my classic spread, which this is it. It's already bent. For Dia de los Puertos. Um, so I already used the sticker kit that I purchased on Etsy, but I do have extra stickers from um, that I purchased at Michael's in a pack, and I wanted to try and use these if I can. Um, I know that they're kind of big, but I still want to make it work. Like I want to put this big sugar skull down here on the first because that's the start. Obviously, I have to cut it. I understand that. Um, I want to put a big box sticker over here, and I know it's bigger than the sticker page, so I have to do some sticker surgery. And then I cut some of these to go in this area here. So that's the plan. Um, and these are like big stickers. Like these are thick, like hardy, like a die cut. I'm normally not a fan of those in general, period. I just don't. Because I don't like how they make the planner pages feel. But I fell in love with these stickers when I saw them. And um, I had to have them. Because... I love them so but yes and if you didn't see my previous video where I did do my classic spread I am Hispanic I do honor day of the dead um, so um, I've educated been educated on it um, it's something that is a new tradition in our home it's not something I technically grew up doing I've done it before but it's not something that has always been consistent in my life um, but I want it to be, so, okay, so what I did was I cut this, and then I'm going to basically just reattach to make this shorter, so, because I do want a longer box on this side, so that's how that's going to work out, and I just need to make sure that... This is lined up how I want it. I feel like that's crooked. And it's going to irk me, but I don't. Okay, let's see if I can peel this off some. Nope. All right, she's going to stay that way, and that really, really bothers me. But. We'll see. So. Okay. But yes, like I said, it's not a tradition that I... It wasn't instilled into me as a child. It's something I chose to start observing um, on my own. Um, my family knows about it. They know the story and everything. It's just something that we just never did. Um, I am not a first generation um, Hispanic. My grandparents were born here. So um, my grandparents were actually born in Texas. So we're more of like a Tejano Hispanic um, type of Mexican, I guess you can say. I'm, it's real. this is really bugging me that it's crooked, so I'm putting some undo, which somebody asked me about it, and I gave a description, but this is the bottle. It's my best friend. However, I don't always think, and look at that, it just peels up wonderfully. Um, I don't always think about it, even though it's literally right in front of my face um, when I'm planning. Technically, I should let this dry, but... I'm clearly not listening to directions. So, um, but yeah, and it's crinkled because I made it crooked up here. So it's going to just stay crinkled. Okay, well, this isn't going to make me very happy. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's, it's still a little crinkled and it's actually still crooked. So, <sighs> okay and of course it already dried that's how fast this stuff dries you guys like it's amazing 
It does have a chemical smell. It's obviously flammable. It doesn't quite smell like nail polish remover, but that's what it reminds me of, if that makes any sense to anybody. That's like what I think of, but it's not as like potent, I guess you can say. I don't, okay. I'm done. She's sticking down that way and it actually looks a lot better. <laughs> So now I just have to essentially line up the bottom portion that I'm attaching the best I can so that the seam will look somewhat flawless. And it's not. So that bugs the crap out of me again. So let's try this again. I may have to cut it shorter just to kind of work it out, but we'll see. That's much better, but like it's going crooked, which is really strange. Um, I'm just going to leave it. So you pro I can see the seam here. You might not be able to, but I can definitely see it. So, but it's okay. I'm not mad about that. So I was going to put this on Sunday, but that really, really, I'm sure that doesn't look too bad. I have the day off. I'm not, I'm not going to work. So I don't have to write a work schedule. And for Sunday, um, uh, my kids and I, and my fiance, we're going to, on our Dia de los Muertos, so that's why I requested it off and was granted that plus the month following Monday, which I normally work Sundays and Mondays, but, um, but yeah, um, sorry. Like I said, these are very hardy stickers, like a die cut. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of these, but just because of the way they're made. They're not like paper stickers. So, but for this purpose, we're going to keep them. Then I can actually put this one down here because that looks cute to me. So. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, this actually covers a lot of the error part that I wasn't feeling. Okay, so there's that. And I don't have a lot going on, so I'm actually going to put, I really, I love this one with the hat, this uh, sugar skull with the hat. So it might cover up that Monday, sorry Dina. But this one, I kinda wanna put up here. However, it's very awkward the way it's positioned, so I'm not exactly sure. I might have to cut the tail. Sorry, parrot. Like that a little bit, or maybe more. To kind of put it up here, you know? Because I kind of want to do like two stickers, but I want them evened out per side. And I'm trying to avoid punching the hole because since these are thick, like a die cut, I don't want to struggle with my hole punch or anything like that. So. I don't mind cutting a little bit, but I don't want to cut a ton. Like this is okay. Like that was tough a little bit with my scissors, so. Okay. We'll put down this parrot for the holly booty hay because I like the colors. Oh my goodness. Okay. So why don't I actually just put this right... We're going to go up a little to cover up the tabai. And then... I'm going to white out... Like from here up... Okay, 
that's why that's about out, so it's acting funky on me. So let me grab another. Oh, there's one right here, duh, right in front of my face. do that. I'm not sure how to like position it like it's I'm gonna go like that. And then I still have a spot here for a list for anything else that I would need to keep track of. Okay. So there's that. So I have these boxes. Um, in my last video, I used all these. Um, well, actually, you know what? I could use Happy Planners colorful boxes. Um, so I'm a patron from on Patreon for planning with Bumble. Oh, I only have two black ones left. Um, you know, I have three. And one of, she has a Facebook group if you're a particular level or higher. And then one of her... Um, patrons actually made home like their her own colorful boxes and they were all colors black purple like sheets of different sizes which I love those um, so I printed them out and because of the colors like there was orange ones in there I wanted them so I used all of that those colorful boxes made by that girl or lady sorry um i don't remember which patron it was exactly off the top of my head but i thought it was awesome that she took the time to make them and then she selfless selflessly yes i can speak um shared them for us to use so I used them in my spread, which I'm thankful that I was able to, because um, I wanted to use orange, purple, and black, so I kept it consistent because I used, I printed them out on label paper. So um, the, like, the white part is like a different shade, so I didn't want a huge mix, so I wanted to keep them consistent. But, which actually, I used one here. You can't really tell, but I can, I don't know if you can, but I can definitely tell the color difference. So I don't want to use like multiple colorful boxes like that. So I'm okay with this, but I wouldn't go any further. So there's that. And then I need some bullet points. This is gonna be a pretty easy spread actually. I'm gonna use these. I forgot which sticker book these came from, but I obviously ripped them out. So I'm gonna actually go with this like turquoise color for bullet points and I have Wednesday. And I'm just going to stick with all turquoise or this chill color, whatever. I don't know. And then one for Saturday. Okay. And then I have that. And I'm going to do pink on this side because I only have two bills to pay this week. So I feel like I definitely need more. So I'm going to add this papel picado washi tape, and I'm going to put some here. If I can get it off the paper, or off the backing. Okay, I'm just going to put some here. Like just kind of going off the page. Um, let's put some for Wednesday. Actually, I have some coming off of Monday, too. And I'll just cut around. Maybe like this, so it's easier to cut. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is cut off that little, the red one. Okay. Okay. I'll go right there, and then this is very difficult washi because it has a backing, so this is very weird to me. Then we'll go down here. And I'm this week, sorry Dina, I'm not worried about the dates. Um, there we go. Oh, I need to cut the side here. I was almost like, I'm done guys. But you know what, I'm not because I'm actually not fully happy with the left page. I need more. So let me see, do I have any other other bidihas that are worth putting in? I have this one, that's too purple there. I have a squirrel. I have this dog, which I used in my classic, I believe. Let's see what else I've got. I've got, no, or I have a black cat. Uh, maybe I used the black cat. I know I have, I have a rabbit. Okay. I know I've got llamas, but that's more purple. I'm gonna throw a rabbit in here. This week is definitely more decorative for me, so um, I'm fine with this. But I do need to do something over here, so I think I'm going to throw some more washi up there. Um, so just to kind of like even that out a little bit, maybe. Okay, I have like a ton of paper everywhere. My desk is a mess, so. Also, I have the sugar skull washi too. I'll just stick with this one. Okay, so let's put, I want the turquoise in there, so we're gonna go like this. So it's on top, I'll get my X-Acto here. Okay, let me get this other side. Okay, that helps tie in more, like, so it's not so spaced out and just, like, white up there in that corner, so. Um, I could put something here, but I won't, um, I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'm still kind of torn, but I'm just going to leave it for now. And I'm going to call it good. I am satisfied. I'm not like, oh, I hate this. I do like it. I'm just not sure if I feel like something's missing right here. And I don't really want to put more washi. I mean, would this look okay? I might fill it. That might be too much. I'm just going to leave it. If I feel like it, I'll edit it throughout the week. Obviously, you won't see the picture of that. But, so there we go. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.